Hey guys. Well, I'm reading an article here from the Christian Post. And the article is titled, Most Evangelicals Believe Good People Are Heaven Bound. Let me just make a comment on that right there and say that most evangelicals, those evangelicals in this article are not evangelicals at all. They're probably just pagans, okay? Second, there is no such thing as good people, okay? We are wretched, vile, and corrupt sinners, okay? The Bible knows nothing about good people, all right? When we put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, then he changes us. But before that, there's no such thing as good people. We are wicked and vile sinners. But I digress. Let's, uh, let's get into the article here. It says, the majority of Protestants and evangelicals believe that good people and people of other religions can go to heaven, according to author David Campbell. Okay? Campbell, who co-wrote American Grace, How Religion divides and unites, contends that surveys of 3,000 Americans used to write the book show that American people of faith, though devout, are very tolerant, so much so that most believers also believe that good people, despite their religious affiliation, can go to heaven. Okay? First of all, these people are not believers, and people of other religions will not go to heaven. They will bust hell wide open. Among... Let's see here. Among the faiths, 83% of evangelical Protestants agree that good people of other religions can go to heaven. Again, these 83% are not Christians, okay? These are pagans. These are false Christians, okay? They know not the gospel. They know not what the Bible teaches, okay? And again, there's no such thing as good people. 90% of black Protestants also believe good people can go to heaven. <laughs> okay. When prodded further, more than half... 54% of evangelical Protestants said yes, people of religions other than Christianity can go to heaven. 62% of black Protestants agreed with the statement. Okay, let's see here. Notably, the author mentioned that there may be some in the evangelical category that don't belong. Oh, really? You think so? Campbell... An expert of religion, politics, and public policy explained at a Thursday discussion of his book that the numbers can be explained with the Aunt Susan theory. Aunt Susan, he said, is a nice family member who is well-loved and is an all-around do-gooder. Oh, here we go. You know that if anyone is destined to go to heaven, it's Aunt Susan, described Campbell. However, Aunt Susan is of another religion. Rather than condemn that person to a lost eternity, Campbell said most American believers choose instead to believe that that person is heaven bound. So now we have feelings coming into the whole picture. Not scripture, not anything that, that the Bible has to say, but, um, but feelings. Sorry about that. Um, let's see here. He also shared that knowing an Aunt Susan opens believers up to other faiths. There's no such thing as other faiths. They're satanic, okay? There's only one true faith, and that is the Christian faith, believer, a believer in Jesus Christ. All other faiths are of the devil. Quote-unquote faiths are of the devil. You become warmer not only to people of that group, but to people of other groups, Campbell contended. Simply put, interlocking social networks allow believers to accept tenets of other faiths. Again, these people are not believers, all right? Um, Richard Land, now here comes this um, waffling so-called conservative from the Southern Baptist Convention, um, let's see here, from the Southern Baptist Convention's Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission, works with leaders of many faiths on issues such as stopping pornography, abortion, and religious persecution. First of all, that's unbiblical. We're told in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And I don't care if it is to stop pornography, abortion, and religious persecution. All of those things, by the way, are evil and are wrong, but we're not supposed to be yoking with unbelievers to stop those things. And let me say that Richard Land, I believe, was also one of the people who signed the Manhattan Declaration. So this man has no standing whatsoever with me. All right? But he's going to try and come off here as some kind of conservative. Okay? He says, that doesn't mean that I'm going to abandon New Testament teaching. All right? Those who do so to accommodate all the beliefs aren't very good evangelicals in his view. Oh, you mean like you who work with people of other faiths to stop pornography, abortion, and religious persecution? Does that mean that you are a very good evangelical for doing that? 
This guy's a joke. Um, Land lamented that more evangelicals are being taught the doctrine of universalism. It is emphasized more from the pulpit. It's emphasized in the seminaries, he decried. Universalism, let me go on here, is a theological... Where am I? Okay, here we go. Universalism is a theological doctrine that all people will eventually be saved despite a relationship with Christ. That is satanic. He said... Let's see here. Where am I? He said this is especially true of youths, because the message from the pulpit have changed. I think the doctrine in Christ alone was emphasized more than 25 years ago than it is today, so young people are hearing about it less, he revealed. And that, that's also in the Southern Baptist, by the way. Um, while Land said it is possible for Methodists, Baptists, Lutherans, and even Catholics, get that, let me read that again. While Land said it is possible for Methodists, Baptists, Lutherans, and even Catholics, to follow the tenets of their faiths and have salvation in Jesus Christ. He stated that the same is not true for Buddhists, Muslims, and Mormons. Okay? Um, it is impossible to believe that Mormon... It is impossible to believe what Mormons believe and be a Christian. It is impossible to believe what Muslims believe and be a Christian, he said. Um, likewise, he acknowledged that there may be unsaved sinners among Methodists, Baptists, Lutherans, and Catholics. Likewise, he acknowledged that there... <laughs> that there may be, there may be unsaved believers among Methodists, Baptists, Lutherans, and Catholics. Oh boy. How about most of them are probably unsaved, especially Catholics. Um, salvation, the biblical requirement for heaven, is an individual and personal choice. Here we go again. He told the Christian Post. Oh boy. Here we go. Uh, where am I at? Land said he quotes the Bible's New Testament, which states that there is one mediator between God and men, and that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life to all those who ask about heaven. Wrong. One is saved, not by someone who asks about heaven, but by believing on the finished work of Jesus Christ and believing on the gospel, that he died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, and that he was raised a third day according to the scriptures. Not all those who ask about heaven. Everybody asks about heaven, Mr. Land. They just don't want God to be there when they get there. Okay? Oh, boy. If missionary work and evangelism is to continue in the future, other Protestants must do the same, he asserted. If the price of respecting your faith is to deny mine, then that price is too high, Land declared. Campbell's discussion was held at the Pew Forum in Washington, D.C. So what we have here, basically, folks, is um, apostate Christianity. All right, these people are not saved. Um, these people are a bunch of unbiblical um, charlatans, frauds, running around in the church pretending as if they are believers, and they're not. Okay, these people are frauds. These people are um, all over the pulpit, and these people need to be evangelized. Okay, instead of sending missionaries to Africa and Asia and all of these far off continents and countries, maybe we ought to send missionaries to our churches, okay, to the people sitting in the pews, because these people are just lost, okay, and people like Mr. Land, who is a leader in the Christian community, this guy is, if these are our leaders, I can understand why the people in the pews are so dumb, are so Bible dumb and Bible ignorant, but that's just me. I'm just an intolerant bigot, as you all know. Um, I'm done, okay? I'm going to put the link down so you guys can read it, so just go in the um, information box and I'll have a link to this article, alright? God bless. Bye-bye.